In this video, we will check how we can create a mailbox in Exchange Online and allocate a license to a user. So there are two ways to create a mailbox. First, through the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, we can create a user and allocate license to that. And the second way is to is through Exchange PowerShell. So we are discussing only the first way how the micro through Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So let us check it out in the lab. So I have already logged into the uh, Exchange Admin Center. Uh, if you check it out, you can see the mailboxes which is already created and uh, already created existing mailboxes you can see over here. So here there is no option to create a mailbox. There is no add a mailbox or create mailbox. There is no button over here in the Exchange Admin Center. So we have to log into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Uh, admin.microsoft.com is the HTTPS. I'll just not write over here. See, it is HTTPS full colon double four way slash admin.microsoft.com. So in this uh, particular URL, you you will be able to log into. You will land on the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. There, under Active Users, you have an option to create add a user. So um, we are going to create a user. Add a user. So uh, set up basics are uh, loading. So I'm giving the name. I'm giving my name itself, Jojo, and second name I'm giving as Paul One. Display name I'm giving Jojo Paul One, yeah, and username it is Jojo dot Paul One, because in in my, the Jojo dot Jojo Paul name there is one other mail ID, so I'm giving one over here. So and the password I'm giving some strong password here. Embeds that make easily uh, guessable. So uh, it is a weak password. So it is asking me to create a strong password. Let us check whether it is accepted or not. This password contains a weird phrase, a series of numbers that make it easily guessable. So even this password also is not accepted. So I am giving another password. So I'm giving here another strong password and that is accepted by the uh, portal and click on next. So here we have to give the license. So I'm giving the uh, Microsoft 365 e-file license. I do have 25 license apart from that 13 is already used. So I'm assigning the license to this particular mail ID, particular user. User role and that we can give later. And next, five finish adding. So <clears throat> this user is being created. In the name of uh, Jojo Paul One, a, a active user is being created. So here, if you check it out, yes, there is a user being created. And if you go to the Exchange Online Exchange Admin Center, let us see whether that user is being uh, visible here or not. So. Jojo Paul one still not have visible here. I think it is still loading. It may be taking few uh, few minutes to uh, update here. It is having a mail ID here, so it should be it should be visible there. It's taking time to update in the uh, mailboxes. Yeah, so it has come. See, uh, Jojo dot Paul one uh, uh, is being visible now. So in this way, we can create a mailbox and uh, attach the license to that. And if you want to attach, uh, if any other license to this apart from E five. If we have purchased some license, so we can it, that those purchase license will be listing over here under licenses, and we can uh, give tick to that. Uh, here in this, in my case, only E5 license is allocated, so no other license will be listed here, and we cannot make any changes in particular this particular ID. But uh, in your case, if you have purchased any other licenses, it will be listing over here, and just we have to check it here, then that will be 
uh, assign to this user okay that's it we will see you in another video bye